you know, there is something that so many people uh, are wondering. If God is so powerful, why am I still having this situation despite all my prayers? If God is so powerful, why am I still having these issues despite my prayers? Well, it is important for you to know. Say amen. amen. It is what? Important. important for you to know. Ever had a question? Oh, somebody having this uh, uh, serious philosophy or questionnaire where you go like, hmm, I've been praying for a long time over this matter. And I've been fasting over it. And something has not changed yet. Now, now we, we, can, we can talk. If I have one person here, just, just, just do me a hello like that. Just wave your hand. If you ever prayed for a particular thing and it's still pending. And you haven't seen the answer yet. Now, don't be afraid to raise up a hand. All right, now, just watch this. Now, this is a question. This is a question. All right? <laughs> what could be wrong? Is God not powerful? Why, when Moses just raised up a hand, water split? Why, when he said, they're hungry, they need some food? Why, when Moses prayed and there were some uh, uh, baits falling, roasted meat, and they were eating? Why, when Jesus was praying, when everybody was hungry, he just took the fish and the bread and gave thanks and everybody ate? Why with you? Just a simple issue. What could be the problem? Just a simple issue. What could be the problem? Hmm. What was the problem with the woman who was in the temple in the Bible for 18 years with the problem with her back? Until Jesus said, it has been a long woman. You have been here for 18 years. What was the issue? Well, I brought you an answer. The third and the fourth dimension. So with me, the third and the fourth dimensions. Say it again. This teaching will help you understand something that might be wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this teaching will help you to understand what could be wrong. Huh. So the priests, maybe you may not know this. So the priests were so holy. For you to be a priest in Israel, according to their law, they keep the law, the Torah. And they refrain from anything that is not holy. Are you here? They refrain from anything that is not what? They keep themselves pure. Yet, they had no power. Yet, they couldn't see in the spirit. Yet, they could not hear in the spirit. Never a single day we hear in the Bible that those priests could heal people who were sick. And these were same men with their holiness were questioning the miracles of Jesus. 
When Jesus performs a miracle, they were like, how could this be possible? With their holiness, they had one side of life which they never had access. Oh, am I talking to you? They didn't have an access. So you may be here, born again, Christian, and spirit-filled, and fail to have access to some dimensions which are very critical and important. You know, guess what's going to happen? You become like a Pharisee. When you hear people testifying, you'll be like, no, how could that be? Because you, the Pharisee, you have prayed for people before, and they were not healed. And you wonder when others are praying, and miracles are happening, and they go like, how could that be? So they took the man who Jesus had opened his eyes, and they said, tell us the truth. Are you saying the truth that you were blind? The man said, I just told you. I couldn't see. They said, wait, you're a liar. Call your parents to come over here. So they brought the parents in. And they said, parents, is this your son? They say, yeah, he is our son. Now we have uh, something to ask your parents. Was he born blind? Parents said he is of age. Ask him a question. They turned to the guy and they said, are you sure you were blind? The man said, you asking me too much. Do you also want to become Jesus' disciples? They said, no. But that man is a sinner. He can't perform such a miracle. And the man said, whether he's a sinner or not, one thing I understand, I was born blind, but now I am able to see. It's like telling, telling a student that your teacher is a sinner. A student will be like, whether he's a sinner or not, it's none of my business. But I have gained the knowledge. So the man says, whether he is a sinner or not, it's none of my business. What I know, <laughs> I was blind. Now they say, wait, come, come here. So they took him aside. They said, just, just confess to say this miracle was staged. All we want you to say, just say this miracle was staged. They had their newspapers ready to publish a story that Jesus staged the miracle. The man said, I want to educate you. You're Pharisees? He said, yeah. He said, I want to educate you. They said, he said, no any man who is not from God can perform such a miracle. Pharisees? So I think this boy is saying the truth. Now, this man were holy in all their lives. They were holy. They had no wives. They were, all their lives, they were just staying in, the, in, in their room, in, in the temple, just worshiping and praying. And these are the men who began to question. You see, this is what happens when you pray, when you fast, when you live holy, and then things are not happening, you begin to question. The problem they had, there was a dimension which they couldn't access. Now I'm talking to you. Somebody said there was a dimension. So you'll be finding yourself in prayer, in fasting, in what, in what, and, and I need financial breakthrough. No money is coming. Instead, you are losing. Somebody asked me a question. He said, how do you do it? I said, it's a dimension. You see, there is a dimension in the spirit which by the grace of God, I managed to access it. Oh, are you here? I'm saying this to you as a testimony. Even if money runs away from me, 
man will begin to look for me. Amen. You, you, you are sleeping. <laughs> Even, trust you me, and I, you, know, you never see me praying for it. It is my wife. <laughs> my wife can pray. She be like, I need it tomorrow nine in the morning. <laughs> so, so you see, so, so when you have an access, <laughs> access, somebody says access. access. You see, so Jesus will just wake up like this and you will not say, can I go and fast face and come and handle this issue? No. He will just handle it and the miracle will happen. How so? Yesterday, uh, where's my, my uh, you, you, were you there when we, uh, there was some rain coming? It was yesterday, you were also there, right? And, and you even said people don't believe it. You see, I'm standing like this and I'm, I'm doing planning. I'm, I'm doing planning. And I stood like this, you know? So I stood like this, I'm looking in the bush. So there's a huge bush in front of me. And I stand on top of a prank and I'm, and I'm looking at the bush like this. Just for 30 minutes. Just looking in the bush like this. So I'm planning. I went into Rayon. And I began to see streets in that bush. I was seeing houses and buildings and nice things. like I'm, And I was seeing in that bush and I'm standing like this. And, I, and I'm looking. Then it started to, to rain. So, so one of my security guys comes, let's, let's leave now. It's raining. I said, me, I leave because of rain. That was it. That's how it stopped raining. You didn't hear me. So, and, and, and my son there, he said, if you say this to people, they want to believe it. And one time I was with the prophet Hara, my wife, and some of the leaders. And we had gone to, uh, to pray on, on a mountain. And so they said, here, <laughs> rain is coming. And we were standing, and 200 meters away from where we were, there was rain coming to where we were. And I said, it will stop until we are done. So the rain had to stop. We could sit falling from there. Radius, 200 meters radius, and we're in the middle. I was also directors, Apostle Nkomo was there, Apostle Mishek, Evangelist Fritz, uh, Apostle Sam. And we're standing there, and I'm like, wait, until we are done. So we were there for 30 to 40 minutes in the middle of the rain. Rain couldn't come where we were. 200 meters, you see it. You see the rain there. When we were done, I said, let's go. Immediately we walked down the mountain when we just entered into the building. Rain on top of the mountain everywhere. How do you do it? You, you don't have to, to, to fast first. You don't have to pray first. Like now, if, if you say prophesy to me, I will just prophesy without even asking. You see, and, and people are thinking prophecies when I tell them their names and their... No, nah, that's just a word of knowledge. That's just a word of wisdom. Prophecies when I tell you what's going to happen. And it happens. That is the dimension I'm talking about. Now, so how do you do it? How do you get into a dimension where you, you, you come to me... Oh, Papa, uh, uh, I have fibroids. And I touch you like this. And you go. And you come back. There are no fibroids. You come with cancer. I touch you. And you come back. There is no cancer. Yet you have touched yourself and prayed. For so many moments and times. And there was no healing. What happens? There is a realm. There is a realm. Where so many people do not have access. When you get into that realm, I can challenge you. 
Even a prayer you make tonight for tomorrow. Tomorrow you see things happening. Oh, yes. Say it's a dimension. Yes. Now, now, let's go to, um, um, uh, into reality. So let's start with the third dimension. I, I will not so much take time on the third dimension. I will speak to you about the third and the fourth dimension. Now, watch this. Just hear this. Now, are you following? Oh, yes. Can I show you something? Oh, yes. Now, can I show you where your prayers go wrong? Oh, yes. Can I show you? Oh, yes. Okay, now, this is it. We have one is called the third dimension. The third dimension, it is a dimension of the natural. Look at me. You able to see me, right? Okay. How are you seeing me? Scientifically, it is called 3D. Ever heard the word 3D? Oh, ever heard the word 3D? How many ever heard the word 3D? I want to see the hands. So, so your screen, your screen, the quality of your screen, the other screens which are called, they are 3D. It means that you are able to see something clearly. Are you following that? So when we say 3D, actually that's what it means, and people don't know even know it. Third dimension. So everything you see, you are able to see me now. I'm able to see you now. All this is happening in the third dimension. You are able to see my Bible here. This is the third dimension. Every decision you think you see, every natural things, they are in the third dimension. So when somebody is sick, they are sick in the third dimension. When somebody is broke, they are broke in the third dimension. When somebody is... So whatever you see, but what caused it... Is not in the third dimension. Oh, you didn't hear me. What made you is not in the third dimension. So everything we see here, it is in the third dimension. So when you, you think, every naturality, whatever you see in the natural, it is in the third dimension. Now watch this. The moment you move, when you receive Jesus, you say, I am saved. That same moment you receive Jesus, you move from the third dimension to the fourth dimension. Every prayer you make, you move from third dimension because in this prayer now, you are seeing an invisible God. You are believing an invisible and seen God. So everything invisible and seen, it is in the fourth dimension. You have received the Holy Spirit, the unseen spirit, who is in the fourth dimension. But the problem is, even which doctors have access to the fourth dimension? Because they too use spirits. Witches and wizards also have access to the fourth dimension because they too have got access to the spirit. Oh, are you here? No, you didn't hear it. Demons operate in the fourth dimension. Uh, somebody say, I hear you. Now, let me show you something very important and more. <laughs> in first, in the first Corinthians chapter 2, from verse 6, we do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age, not the wisdom of the third dimension. Now, now, I just want to see something here. We speak wisdom not of this world, not of this world. We speak things. This is Apostle Paul. Paul is now speaking from another dimension. So he says, I'm not speaking things from this dimension. If I say something in this dimension, you will understand me. 
But what I speak, you will not understand it. Because you can't have access to it. Because it does not operate from this dimension. From this world which you know. Oh, are you here? It says what? It says, we do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature. But not the wisdom of this age. Or of the rulers of this age. Who are coming to nothing. He says, no, we declare God's wisdom a mystery. So he says, the wisdom of God is a mystery. He says, a hidden wisdom. Yes, sir. Oh, are you following that? Yes. We speak hidden. Now, the, 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 that word there, hidden, it is what it makes you now understand that it is not what we know. So the wisdom Paul is operating from, it is not the common wisdom which everybody is using. He is not speaking something that a common person can understand. He says, what I'm talking now, I have moved from this age. I'm speaking from another level. Now, where he is speaking from is the fourth dimension. Where in that dimension, there is the spirit, there's a mystery. Where demons can operate with their mysteries. Where angels can operate with their mysteries. Where the Holy Spirit can operate with his mystery. Where you can operate with your mystery. Now, if you see a person praying, that moment they're praying, they are no longer speaking and interacting to the natural. They're interacting to the spirit. And that moment, they have moved from the, uh, from the third dimension. They are in the fourth dimension. However, if you see a person too manifesting a demon, he is not manifesting from the third dimension. He is manifesting from the fourth. Oh, are you here? This is why when I'm casting a demon, I say, come out! A demon will begin to manifest. And, and when a person is free, and I say, uh, were you aware of what was happening? They'll be like, I don't even know. Somebody who loves me so much. They'll be like, I'll kill you today. I hate you. I'll kill you. After deliverance to be like, me, the way I love you. I said, what? Because that moment, the person was not in the third dimension. Was in the fourth dimension. 